Hi, and a very good afternoon to all my students. Today, I would like to deliver my lecture with a topic on valuation for leasehold interest. This lecture will comprise of the leasehold property, property interest, reason to the leasehold interest valuation, type of leasehold terms, leasehold valuations, and case study example. We go to the, our first topic, which is the leasehold property. So leasehold property is also known as business property, where the property owner lets out the property to the tenant, or also known as a leaseholder, or the investors hold the property for business purpose with the expectation for a return on investment. The leasehold property also can be categorized as a property that generated income from the business lease or tenancy. Return on investment of this type of property is heavily based on the rental value receivable from the leasing or tenancy entered into the agreement between the landlord and the tenant. Okay, we go to the next topic on the property interest. There are two types of the property interests. They are freehold interest and leasehold interest. And for this purpose of uh, lecture, I would like only to discuss on leasehold interest. In relation to the property, interest is always addressed as a right to own or to occupy the building or premise after both parties, owner and tenant, agreed with the lease term and signed the tenancy agreement. So, this lecture will focus on how to value the interest of the leaseholder or tenant only. So, for the next lecture or the next topic will be the reason to value the leasehold interest. Why we need to value the leasehold interest? why the leasehold interest is so significant okay there are many reasons some of them is that tenants are used to receive notice from time to time during the tenancy to shorten the tenancy agreement with certain reason some of them is just like for example the landlord receive notice to compulsory acquisition for the property from land office or maybe the landlord would like to sell off the property and the new owners has no intention to continue with the present tenancy. Or maybe the tenant's wish to buy out the property is interest by himself. So, in this case, the tenant's right to the property or premise shall be paid off provided that the unexpired term of lease is still running at the time of termination notice. So when we go to the types of the lease terms, so when we go to the lease term, then we must check on either there are any types of the lease term agreed between both parties, either landlord or the tenants. So in this, uh, at currently there are main types of the lease covenant or letting terms concerning to the outgoings which are, we call it as a full repairing and insuring, is the most common form of business lease, or maybe internal repairing and insuring only, or internal and repairing term. Okay, so this is another example of the how outgoings in relation to the lease terms for the tenant. So, the tenant's responsi responsibility to pay off the outgoings is based on the lease term, either under the full repairing insurance lease or under the uh, internal, uh, internal repairing or insurance only or only insurance only. So, it is all stipulated in the agreement. So, whenever you want to do the rent adjustment, okay, to value the interest of the leaseholder, so you have to check out on these outgoings responsible to the tenants. Okay, so we go to the leasehold valuations. 
Okay, now guess the, the value for the leasehold interest be used as an investment method. Okay, so the investment method is the best method that we are going to use to value the leasehold interest. And then the, inter the value derived from this leasehold interest is based on the profit rent, which is that the, the, the amount, the rent, the profit that enjoy or gain by the tenants on the running lease tenancy compared to the full rental value of the similar type of property in the surrounding area. Okay, we go to the profit rent. What is the profit rent? The profit rent per annum is the full rental value, in this case is the market rental market value, less the rent paid. Okay, so the profit rent is associated with the deduction of the uh, open rental market value deduct to the rent payable to the landlord. The valuation will capitalize the profit rent to arrive at a capital value of the leasehold interest. Okay, when we look at the two scenarios, how this type of the leasehold valuation will be undertaken. So, okay, we go to the first scenario here. Yeah? So, the first scenario or the first situation is that where tenants occupies and pays, say, 100 per annum. 100 ringgit per annum to the freeholder, in this case the landlord. And the full rental value, the open rental market value is a 500 of the similar type of property. So the valuation in this case is done on the basis of the profit rents. That is, FRV less rent paid, in this case is a 400. So we also can go for the situation two. This is a quite complex when the property is has many multiple interests. This means that, that the landlord might lease or let to the main tenant at the same time the main tenant sublease to the sub tenants. So there is a multiple interest within the same type of properties or the same types of the premise. At this case, when we want to value the uh, the value, the leasehold interest, in this case, the main tenants, we only value based on the net income receipt. Because of the difference between the rent receipt from the sub-tenant less the rent payable to the freehold or to the landlords. So in this case, for the scenario 2, is the uh, amount of RM200 per annum is a net income receivable to the main tenant. Okay, the leasehold value capi uh, capitalization. So once you have this profit rent, alright, so we only can derive the value after we multiply by the year's purchase to a rate tax deductions or formula. So, so we have to acknowledge the sinking funds, calculations, and the tax uh, available or liable to the tenants. For this case, uh, we're using the formula of the YP dual rates. Okay, we come to the case study example one. Okay, we look at the questions. Uh, case example one: A shop is let on a full repairing issuing lease. So this is the most uh, common uh, term of lease in the business, or right? FRI. So this is uh, the lease that has 12 years unexpired. The rent being paid is RM1200 $1, per annum. The net rental value is uh, RM1500 $1, per annum. Assume a yield of 7% and a tax liability of 40% value the leasehold interest in this case where are uh, we are using a sitting fund of the 2.5 percent calculate the capital value of the leasehold interest so when we click on the suggested working answer the first thing that we have to know is that this type of questions the, the lease type is a 
to repairing each of them. So this mean is a net. Alright, the, the rent payable is for 100 to 100 per annum is going to be the net. So definitely we are going to use the YP2 rate because it's the interest, uh, uh, the leaseholder's interest. So we allocate the second part of the 2.5% and tax liability of the 40% and also we assume the yield, the, the, the rate of returns for this type of similar type of property is about 7%. So we look at the working answer. So we look at here, we look at the, the diagram here. So we have to know that from the date of valuations, right, this property still have 12 years unexpired term to go until the tenancy is towards the end. Okay, so for the next 12 years, right, the tenant has to pay 1,200 1, per annum to the landlord. And then you must also remember that for the next 12 years, with the rent payable of 1,200, the full rental value of this type of property in the market is 1,500 per annum. But this only can be enjoyed by the landlord after the tenancy agreement is ended, which is still deferred 12 years from the date of valuation here. Okay. When you look, look at the suggested answer down here, okay, first we have to know that what is the FRV? The FRV, the full rental value or the uh, rental value market in, in the market, alright, so FRI, FRI here is the uh, FRI terms, which is the net, alright, so this is a 1,500, okay, you okay, get here, the FR, FRV is a 1,500, so we less the rent paid, so the tenant paid to the landlord is a 1,200 per annum for the next 12 years until the agreement ended, alright, so the deduction of the FRV and the rent paid, so we will get the profit rent. So at this case, study example 1, the profit rent is uh, 300 per annum. Okay, based on this 300, uh, 300 per annum, we capitalize this profit rent into the value just to derive what is the value of the leasehold interest using the YP dual rate okay, for the next 12 years with the yield 7% and, and we acknowledge the sinking point of the 2.5% with, with tax liability of the 40% and when we get the capital value of the leasehold interest of the 1,572. Okay, if we go to the case study example 2, alright, we go to the case study example 2, the same question but we change the lease term. The lease term from the case study example 1 which is the FRI, so we go to the internal repairing lease. Alright, so the lease, the rest same, still the same, only the term of lease is different. Okay, so when we go, if we want to go to value this type of property, so the first thing that we must be make sure that the lease type is the IRL term, okay, internal repairing lease. So, if the tenant were only responsible for internal repairs, then the tenant would expect to pay more than 1,200 1, per annum. That is, 1,200 1, per annum plus external repairs and insurance to put the FRP on the same basis because of the external repairing and also the insurance will be borne by the lender because the tenant only responsible for the internal repairs only so the rest will be the same so we look at the, how is it the answer will be look like so everything will be remain the same 
only that we have to do the adjustment for the FRB. So the FRB, we have to do adjustment to the FRI from the IRF. All right, from the internal repairing list, we have to convert the FRB to the FRI. So the FRB is still the same, 1,500, but we need to add the external repairs, the insurance, all right, at this case, we say 10% of the RV or insurance 2.5% of the RV. This is we do the assumptions. So when we get that, the, the total external repairs is uh, about 150 per annum. So we do the, we have to add the FRV and uh, all the external costs. So we have the adjusted full rental value at the FRI basis of the 1006 1650 per annum. So, based on the adjusted full rental value, we need to find the profit rent. How? So, we need to less the rent paid, rent payable to the landlord by the tenant, which is still the same, 1200 per annum. So, and then the deduction of the adjusted full rental value with the less rent paid. So we get the profit rent of the 150 per annum. So again, we need to capitalize this profit rent into the capital value by multiple with the YP dual rate, and then we get the capital value for the leasehold interest, say 2,400. You can see that the different term of this will derive different capital value of the whole interest. So, in this case, this is very important for all students must know the difference between all the type of the term of lease because different type term of lease will give you a different capital value of the whole interest. Thank you for watching.